Welcome to Tech Mining. Developers can add template directives in cards advanced formatting. This page uses tags column which contains comma separated values of the employee focus area. The card's body uses an HTML expression, that dynamically creates a list of tags only if there are any tags present in the tags column. It loops through each tag, formats them as list items, and displays them within an unordered list. The full card action is also included. Clicking any area on the full card, open the employee detail page, displaying the complete information of the selected record. Let's roll up our sleeves and get started. The table used in the video is EBA Demo Card EMP. To create the table, use the code provided in the video description. These are the columns of the table followed by their respective types. The tags column is usually the last column. Next, create a page, with cards type. Select the table EBA Demo Card EMP. The provided CSS code is divided into two rules. This first rule targets elements with the class A tags, which is a list containing tags. It sets list style to none, to remove the default bullet points and numbering that usually appear before list items. This is used for creating a cleaner presentation for the tags. The second rule applies styles to elements with the class A tag which represent individual tags within the list. Here's what each property does. Background color, sets a light gray background color for the tags. Color, sets the text color to a darker gray. Border radius, rounds the corners of the tags slightly for a softer look. Padding, adds some space around the text within the tags creating visual separation. Margin, adds a small amount of space between the individual tags. Display inline, ensures that the tags are displayed side by side, as opposed to stacked on top of each other, which is the default behavior for list items. Style B in Apex provides a unique visual alternative to Style A, offering greater customization options including color schemes, fonts, and layouts, used for a distinct look and more design flexibility. The CSS Classes property is used to apply custom CSS styles to HTML elements within an application. This property allow developers to modify the appearance and behavior of various elements, such as buttons, regions, page items, etc. Depending on the selected number of columns, 2, 3, 4, or 5, 
the cards will automatically adjust their arrangement to fit the chosen layout. The layout adapt the number of columns based on the available screen width. Selecting any column from the list, helps in populating that column's data into that chosen card area. Advanced formatting when enabled for cards, involves utilizing additional customization options beyond basic settings to enhance the visual presentation and interactivity of the cards. This allows for fine-grained control over the appearance of individual cards, including fonts, colors, borders, etc. In the following HTML expression, the starting line checks if a variable named tags has a value. If it does, the code within the if block, will be executed. This ensures that the list of tags is only displayed if there are actual tags to show. The second line creates an unordered list, UL, with the class A tags, used for the styling purposes. The next line contains a loop, that repeats over a comma-separated list of values stored in the tags variable. It processes each individual tag within the list. Ampersand Apex Dollar Item is a placeholder which will be replaced with the current tag value during each repetition of the loop. It's important to note that Ampersand Apex Dollar Item is a specific placeholder used in Oracle Apex for accessing item values. Next, for each tag in the list, this code creates a list item. Li, with the class A tag. The actual tag value, extracted from the tags variable using ampersand apex dollar item, is placed within the list item. This marks the end of the if block, ensuring that the list structure is only created if the tags variable has a value. The blob column in the media source, allow developers to manage and use custom images as icons in an application, with the data stored in the blob column. In the current scenario, that blob column is profile image column. Position determines where the media component is positioned on the card, first option displays the media before the card header. Appearance determines the aspect ratio for the media, widescreen applies a widescreen aspect ratio. The columns selected in the image description property describes the media and are used for tooltips and alterative text for the images. Select the MIME type and last updated columns respectively which stores the blob content that developer wants to display to the end user. This information allow displaying the file name, download the file with the correct format, and identify if the file has been updated since the last download. The show total count property indicates whether to show the total row count in the report footer. When creating a cards region in Oracle Apex, developer need to specify the primary key column in the primary key column 1 attribute. This attribute specifies which database column uniquely identifies each card in the data set. The primary key in Apex can execute actions specified to each card, such as editing, deleting, or navigating to employee detail page, in the current scenario. Next. Create the following action. Actions are essentially event handlers that trigger specific behaviors when users interact with different parts of a card. These interactions include clicking on the card's title, subtitle, media element, or buttons, or the full card itself. Set its type to full card action. Triggers when any area of the entire card is clicked.
Select any form or detail page from the list for testing purpose. When the user clicks on an employee record, a request is sent to the EMP number to the target page, which helps in showing their information automatically on the detail pages. This saves time by pre-filling fields on the target page. Save your progress. Run the page to test the segment. The cards are displaying tags successfully, for the employee whose tag field has a value. Clicking any area on the full card, open the employee detail page. It is displaying the complete information of the selected record, through the EMP number column which we selected in the set item value. Including with the total row count in the report footer. That's all for now. But stay curious, we've got even more exciting content coming soon. Thanks for watching the video.